It was the record label that brought the sound of home first to Britain and then to the rest of the world. Reggae and ska from Jamaica was introduced here thanks to the small British label Trojan, set up in 1968. Soon Desmond Decker gave Trojan its first UK number one. More hits followed, and for the label's marketing manager Chips Richards, there was an eager audience. It was fundamental, really, it, it goes with our, ident our identity. Uh, Jamaican young people then, their identity was the music and that link our language to back home and our Caribbean flavoured music, it will enhance our culture. With reggae frequently in the charts in the 70s, it was a pioneering time for the label's musicians. People go crazy because it was something completely different and to, um, to, to experience reggae music live was, was a mind-blowing thing. Man doing it. For the musicians of the Scar two tone label of the late 70s and early 80s, it was Trojan that started it all. As a generation, we were the children of the Windrush. It was in our blood, it was in our emotion memories, it was in our musical memories, it was in our arsenal of melodies, of how to write music, of, of rhythms as well. Rocksteady, Rude Boy, Reggae. With a new film along with a 50th anniversary book and music releases, it's hoped Trojan's place in British cultural history could be celebrated. It was really through the marketing of Jamaican music, both made, or reggae, both made in Jamaica and the UK, to a white audience that, that sort of really opened people's eyes to, to, to black culture within the UK. Who are young? 50 years on, and with a back catalogue of classics, Trojan is still marching on. Nina Nanar, News at 10.